Klappe die 3000. Hey guys! Okay. Du bist. Ja, weißt du, was also, du, sagst? du sagst, sagst du nicht Hallo erstmal? Doch schon, aber weißt du, was du sagst? Nein. <lacht> Doch, was wir machen. Ich will raus, als du ablesen die ganze Zeit. For the years, of course, uh, if... Ah ja, danke. <lacht> oh Gott, das ist viel schwieriger, als ich dachte, ey. Hey guys, welcome to the first Q&A of Enemy Inside. So you guys ask us a few questions on Instagram and the first question you ask is, which bands do you like? David, which bands do you like? <lacht> okay, I guess I'm more on the heavier side. So I like bands like uh, Aborted or Humanity's Last Breath, uh, Benighted, but also bands like Bring Me the Horizon or Bad Omens. Evan, what up? Me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Bring Me the Horizon is also one of my favorite bands. Um, I also enjoy listening to I Prevail. Wage War is maybe also one of my favorites for now. So, how about you? How about me? Um, of course, I like I Prevail, Bad Omens, and Bring Me the Horizon as well, but I'm also a huge fan of bands like Rammstein, Marilyn Manson. Um, I like many different kinds of music. And yeah, I, I think every one of us used to listen to other bands as well. Yeah, as I was a goth kid before, I'm also like influenced with all like the industrial style of music. David listens to like more the heavier stuff when he arrives in the car is like you can hear him from like <laughs> one mile away and I think Evan also have, has a lot of influence of the classic rock like he loves the scorpions Me? No No, <laughs> no I hope this answers your first question Let's go to the second one Which the one The second is it? one Okay, uh, let's go zurück. Dein Passwort <laughs> So, let's proceed to the second question which is which band is or was your inspiration. I is guess it, it, this like has to do with Enemy Inside. Inspired us to make music in that direction. I don't know, this is a difficult question because I think of course like everything the bands mentioned that we like, like have some kind of influence to the, to the music we made. I don't know, I think- Don't say also, it. <laughs> no, I also think like this depends like on the album because like if you compare like the first album to the second album, it's like, it sounds like a lot lot different and we also had like different influences in, in the, both of the albums. I would say it's pretty much the same bands we are listening to. Yeah. And since we already answered this question, let's proceed to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> the third one is how do you start writing a song? Do you start with a theme, the melody or uh, lyrics or what? This Hands. Like I think most of the time it starts like with the instrumental. Evan I starts with the he creates the music. He starts with like creating one one demo, and most of the time later I put one melody over it. And in the last part I put the lyrics. I'm more like the kind of person I create the melody before, and then I start creating the lyrics. I would say the melody comes first, but sometimes I start with a riff or with another uh, instrumental idea. But sometimes we also had the a situation where uh, I started with the hook line of the song, or maybe I dreamt of it, which was, for example, um, for the song Oblivion. I just woke up and had the idea in my head, and I recorded it. Most, we, of, the most of the times, it's, it's just the music first, and then the instrumental, uh, yeah. vocal melody, and then the lyrics. Yeah, exactly. You, you want to read the next question, David? Yeah, come on. Come. Give me the iPad. <laughs> it's the fourth one. <laughs> Should I study music to be able to write metal songs? You can answer it as well. Uh, no, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> I don't think that every band you're listening to has, or the songwriters at least, have studied music. Yeah, it's. I think it has something to do with creativity in general, so if you're a creative person, you can write music. I Let's agree. proceed to the next one. Will the new album arrive soon? Uh, have you ordered it yet? <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends like what you consider soon, but there's definitely new music in the making and there will definitely be new music soon. But for the album, I think you need to have a little bit of patience. Yeah, be a little patient, but it will come in early 2025. Yeah. I can assure you. Okay, this is. I can read this one because it's one question to me. Yeah. Nastasia, what is the most difficult song to sing? Oof. My heart will go on. <laughs> 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 okay, I think um, 
I think the question is like for enemy inside songs or yeah um, so. it depends because some songs are more hard to sing in the live situation because I move a lot in these songs for example I would say like on the second album is definitely the more challenging song life is bulletproof because in this song I we tend to jump a lot we tend to move a lot and moving and singing is always like a little bit more exhausting <laughs> no breaks yeah it's challenging life I would say all of the songs are a little bit challenging to sing live I don't know what I always make for Or write melodies without like breaks so I never have breaks for breathing for which part of Bulletproof? all of it <laughs> definitely the chorus um, and when it goes like into the, the post chorus there's no break for breathing which which part is it? I, mean, <laughs> I wanna know <laughs> just tear it on the walls but I want oh, okay, yeah. to win and uh, when you go from the chorus in the post chorus it's I was also thinking cool. about that one but I wasn't sure yeah yeah give me Um, the seventh question is, Dominic, what is your favorite bass line from any of your tracks? Okay, Dominic isn't here. He's a little bit shy. Dominic. <laughs> call, yeah, call. Um, but I'm pretty sure that he enjoys playing uh, the middle part of Lullaby a lot. Live. Yeah. Yeah. It's, time. it's always yeah, the, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's, 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 it's the time of his spotlight. life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the next question is, will you ever perform in white outfits again? Or should we get used to the wave gothic uh, uh, treffen outfits? Get used to the black look. <laughs> so, I, I think we used the white outfit for so long, like we're really done with the white. And the outfits are also really done in yeah, general. They're not white like, anymore. They're not white anymore. <laughs> Definitely after Bakken, they are not white anymore. Um, so for now, please, uh, we s I think we stick with the black outfit. Yeah, maybe in the future, but... Yeah. Maybe we do pink. Who yeah, maybe. not the near f future, to be honest. Okay, the next one is, will the new album sound heavier than Seven? David. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. David approves. <laughs> It's David approved, yeah. Great, but it also has more pop music elements as well in it. I mean, it's like, it's the soft heavy. parts are very soft and the heavy parts are very heavy. Yeah, it's more, more poppy and more heavy in the same time. But it doesn't sound like poppy. No. no. <laughs> okay, the next question is, which was your biggest challenge as a band so far? I guess... Some support shows where the you have lots of time pressure, or I guess some. Masters of rock. Yeah, arriving <laughs> yeah. at the venue. Yeah, that's a good one. 20 yeah. minutes before showtime, and yeah, that was pretty pretty heavy. And okay, we have also issues. to say here that we were late uh, to the to the skit because like snowstorm. <laughs> yeah. Snowstorm. Yes. So we have had to drive with uh, 40 kilometers per hour. Yeah. Was it 40 really? I felt like it was more 20. Yeah, it was. yeah we arrived 20 minutes before and yeah. when we arrived there we had uh, the bad luck that um, also the headliner band arrived at this at the same point. The whole crew of the festival was carrying their stuff and so we were lucky enough to get some help from other bands and to set up our whole stage thing. Yeah, but we had no time for like check everything and yeah. later we had technical issues and Later, I had to tell like bad jokes in front of the audience. <laughs> it was yeah, like, mm. it was a disaster. Yeah, so. yeah. In the end, we made it. Yeah. Um, I have also a pretty uh, difficult situation we faced uh, on Rock Hearts Festival, where we also had uh, time pressure, and I remember myself being at the toilet and <laughs> making <laughs> and doing some makeup, and I've heard our intro playing, oh and I just yeah. rushed. Yeah, like a maniac to go on stage. Yeah, I think we have like, yeah. I don't. I, I think we have like too many stories for this. Sag nur die Nummer. Uh, elf. Okay, number eleven. Are you working on any new music? I think we that's already. happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we already, already okay. answered. Yeah, but yes, we do. <laughs> Or we did. <laughs> The best nutrition advice is from Evan and Dave. Oh. Okay. Um, you have to put a lot of ranch dressing over your pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, kill the, the carbs. Italian approves here. <laughs> kill the carbs, and 
raise the protein, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess you can not go wrong if you eat some uh, chicken with rice. Yeah, every day. Every day. And also eat stuff you like, find good solutions to stick your, to your diet, yeah. whatever it is. I mean, if you like chocolate, uh, then uh, try to find some uh, protein uh, bars instead or whatever. But don't eat pizza with French dressing. <laughs> you have to put also sriracha sauce on it. Sriracha. <laughs> if you had to pick your favorite song of each of the first two albums, which would you pick? You can start. Okay. Okay. Each of the like of one album. Each. Yeah. Yeah. Two. So for yeah. Phoenix, it's definitely falling away, and I guess lullaby, because the songs are also a lot of fun to play live. Yeah. Like and if you had to pick one. Uh, one, yeah, falling away, of course. Okay. <laughs> and for seven, uh, I guess the song seven, <laughs> and in my blood. But I like more seven, yeah, because it's like heavy. Is it now one song or two songs? One of each album. One of each album. Yeah. Okay, okay Evan. Um, I would say falling away is also my favorite one out of Phoenix, and my favorite one out of seven is Release Me, or Chrysalis. I think I think release me, yeah. Uh, I don't want to say the same, but it's the same. I think um, from of the first album, it's probably yeah, falling away. Okay, we have or three. Phoenix. Or Phoenix. Yeah, it's falling away. And of the second album, it's in my blood or release me. But if I have to choose, I think it's release me. Okay. Great. Good. Okay, number 14, not really a question, but much love from the US and keep being you. You're awesome. Thank you. You're awesome. And you're awesome too. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. At this point, I just have to mention that we kept all the, the questions. When are you coming to whatever place, Australia, Mexico, yeah. India, whatever? Um, yeah, out of this Q&A. Yeah, because we don't want to answer like with the <laughs> I mean, we really want to come soon uh, and we really want to play in your country. But sometimes it's more difficult than you think. Okay, next one. Are you excited to be in Poland for the first time next year? Oh, yes, we are. Yep. We're yes, exci definitely. excited about... Never been everything. there. Yeah. No, me neither. Me neither. I think we're excited about every country we're visiting next year. No? Yep. Okay. Number 16, what inspired you for your new black outfits? The dirty white outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Just go the complete opposite way that we did yeah. before. Yeah, I think the white was fun, but it was like for too long and it's also so hard to find something like white and not see through. You, you like, really, it's so fucking difficult. Um, so yeah. I think you don't have to have much inspiration to choose black. No. Yeah, black is in our hearts. Yeah. <laughs> no, so the coffee, coffee. So it's the coffee we're drinking, yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay, next one, 17. What's the next color theme for your next album? Well... I don't want to spill it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't want to spill it to you. No, no, you no. Need to, you need to wait and be surprised. Or you can look at our backdrop. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we all already released two pictures, or one and a half, and yeah. maybe you can get there some, are some hints. idea. Yeah. Okay, 18. Is there any released song without a video you wished you've had done one? Bulletproof. Yeah, that's also a good one, but I, I would also say uh, Breakthrough yeah. would definitely deserve it. Yeah, Bulletproof, of course. Which one is it? 19. 19. What's your biggest goal as a band? Tell us about your goals. Biggest for, one. for me, I don't have like one specific festival or anything, but I, my dream it was always like to play with Enemy Inside in Japan. I would say the Square Garden. <laughs> yeah. I want to play at Red, Red Rocks. Oh, yeah, I also want cool. to play at uh, Rock am Ring, and I also would like to play a big show in Athens, which is my hometown. Yep. Will there be any meet and greets taking place during the summer tour? Are, are we on the summer what tour? What summer tour? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess you mean the tour uh, next year, um, which takes place in February and March. 
in in Germany it's definitely no, not summery in February but there won't be any official meet and greets but I'm pretty sure that we can meet uh, after the show at the merchandise, the merchandise. yeah stand. usually we manage to come out after the show yeah we don't like the idea of the of an extra meet and greet uh, upgrade because there's no yeah. reason to And most of the time we're really under time pressure before the sound check so we're not like in the best mood so it's much better meet us after yeah, the show. Yeah. <laughs> you will also enjoy it more. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Thanks for watching. I thank you very much for participating. That was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Next uh, time. Soon. And if you want to know anything about us, just ask us. <laughs>